What's going on, my name is Chris. I could have sworn I saw a spider walk across my table. It turned out to be a freaking clump of hair. Or other... Yeah, it's definitely hair. <laughs> and welcome back to another exciting adventure of Let's Play the uh, Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD Visually Blind and HD and Hero Mode. And I don't know why they want to say HD twice. Just I'm excited, man. I'm an excited man! Yeah, yeah, Medley, I gotcha. Alright. So last episode, we collect some treasures, and we got the last treasure chart that I totally missed because I'm a stupid head. In this episode, we're hopefully going to finish up, um... Uh, collecting all the treasure charts, or treasure in this game. We don't, really don't have many left to go, so it won't take too long, I promise. I'm going to go over there. It's going to be nighttime. I believe this is one of the islands that the ghost ship could potentially spawn at. Thankfully, now that we have the ghost ship map, it's easy to tell what island it's going to appear at. <clears throat> I guess I could have done that earlier using the power of the internet, but I mean, it wasn't really necessary because I know islands it appears at and it's really easy to make it spawn based on the fact you just have to choose an island and then go there and play the song of passing until it appears and blah, 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 magic, magic, magic. Okay, I was going to say, please appear, beam of lights, and there it is. Just like magic. Um, dang it. Okay, that sounds really close. Wow, using like a boomerang or the hook shot. Next collecting is a lot easier because you immediately stop instead of having to freaking hold the button. It's stupid. I hide it. I hide it. All right, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? <gasps> you got a silver poopy. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's pretty scary. Um, we've collected everything. Yeah, collected all the things. Okay, Great Fish Island is, I guess, the next stop we have yet. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Nope. Wrong song, you silly boy! Over here, boy! Right, Great Fish Island. I was gonna mix up between locations of Great Fish Isle and uh, the Forbidden Woods, or Forest Haven. I was gonna mix up between Forest Haven and Forbidden Woods. I don't know, they're just... They're, their islands, like, visually look pretty big, or similar, like, they're both very big islands, but they're also, like, split off into other islands. If you know what I'm saying. Wow, we got... I was gonna say, we're pretty far away from the island. I guess we kind of are, actually. Wait, is that the... I saw the beam of light there, but no, it was just a stupid bottle. I was like, that's pretty far from the island. Bit nay with this note. Um, there it is. Okay, let's, let's go around. Let's try our... Whoa! Yeah, sharp turn! Yeah, another sharp turn! Alright, looks like it's like right over... Meh! Yeah! So much easier. Why can't I just stop like that normally? I don't freaking know. What the heck?! What? And then one of these assholes appears. What the balls? Huh? That's a thing that could happen? What? Excuse me, game? <laughs> Hello. Hello. I click. I'm really shocked. I'm not really. All right. Let's take a look. Um. Yep. So it's one of the very first treasure charts. Or if you caught it, it's actually. Maybe it wasn't the right spot, it was just like, you know, it did that to troll me. What? Can anyone explain to me why that just happened? I might look it up and maybe I'll even like leave it. Uh, it's to my right. So let's go a bit more this way. Try it there, I guess. That was so weird. Oh, see, right there would have been a good spot to take off Link's mask. Because that way I could have seen what his face really was when he pulled up that weird urn and then the... Octorok appear? Or no, I guess it wasn't Octorok. You got Jeffrey Shard! Now you only need two more. Cool, cool. I was trying to think, what are the other two? Because, um, I know there's one more that we have to pull up from the bottom of the sea, but what's the other one? It's the ghost ship, you silly little goofball. Alright, there's no ghost ship here, right? I know this is one of the islands I could appear at. I don't see it, so I'm gonna assume no. Although it could have been behind the island there. I didn't notice it. Um, coming in, so... I suppose not. Oh, we gotta go to the God's Tower, too, as well. Alright. Take a look. Over here. Is that over there? Nope. Totally looks like a ship, though, doesn't it? No, it's just an island, you silly little goof. I guess, I guess it doesn't really. It looks pretty freaking big, but, um... Maybe not island size. When you first take a look at it, it totally looks like it could be, though. Alright. See where the freaking thing might be. Over here. Over here. Over here! Come on. <laughs> I like how quick the clouds kind of like disappear sometimes. Oh, holy. Oh, those are stars. I thought those were all seagulls. I thought all the stars were seagulls. 
I mean, aren't stars really just seagulls sometimes, you guys? Right? I think that's... That'll do it. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Oh, boy. What's gonna be in this chest? Wow, it's glowing through the bottom of the chest. So you see it, like, right in the front there? Oh, yeah. You got a silver rupee. Wow, we might actually max out our rupees again. That would be really disappointing. Um, I guess just sail east. Right? Yeah, I guess that'd be our best bet here. Yep. All right. So this way? Yes, this way. Okay, this is a good spot to cut out. So I will BRB. I'm going to go not to that first island over there, but the second one. So be right back, you guys. Oh, it's cool coming to the Island of Steel and seeing that my, the battleships are all still destroyed. I thought for sure they'd come back once I, you know, reloaded the area, but apparently not. It's cool. Oh, wow, a second mailman just came to my door. Seriously, always. The mailman always, always, always show up when I'm recording. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just my thing, you know. Mailman! up the sunken treasure please don't be 200 rupees I'm sick of seeing 200 rupees every freaking treasure I pick up <gasps> hey oh traffic shard you got traffic shard now only one night only need one more wow this is a random spot for one of those to show up all right next up let's go to the God's tower it's because I'm feeling godly or something I don't freaking know is that blasphemous I think it was blasphemous Whenever I like tap the control stick in, like you know, to go to first person mode, that's when I notice the right control stick mostly freaking messes up and oh, it's so annoying. I can't even complain because it's seriously like 100% my fault. Throwing your controller around is never something you should ever do ever. I guess I was just used to the durability of a GameCube remote. Wow, that that beam of light does not seem to go very high, but maybe it just doesn't seem to go very high in um, in comparison to the Wii remote. I keep wanting to use like the directional pad to uh, pull out of uh, pull out an item, but then I keep realizing no, that's like bombs and crap. But you know what? That actually might work too. Come to think of it, will it? I should take a look at that. You guys, so are you seriously kidding me right now? All right, what else we got here? Is that it? Oh, we only have one more, you guys. Holy crap! That makes me kind of sad. We are getting pretty freaking close to finishing this game. One thing I did not do is prepare for what we do next after this. Wow, you can see my sword going through my face. <laughs> what the heck? I've never said for. Well, I guess another thing I could do is we can go do the ghost ship. Maybe that'll kill enough time for me to kill the episode. So, because the only the thing I'm gonna do next, I think, after I'm done collecting all that I can from the seas here, I think I'm gonna do the 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 sapling side quest. I'm gonna go this way. No, a bit more. There, oh, there we go. I see the island. I wanna go to right there. The only other, or the thing I'm thinking about doing next is doing the Forest Haven sapling, the withered sapling side quest thing. And then we'll probably do the, maybe the blue chews, either that or the the trading side. We're probably going to do the flower trading side quest first, actually. That makes more sense, just because the blue chews are kind of whatever. I don't think anyone really cares about it. I don't even know why I'm really going to necessarily make like a specific episode for it. It's kind of like, it's just my unique contribute, contrib, contribution, contribution, there we go. My unique contribution to the Wind Waker Let's Playing thing. <laughs> Even though there's probably Blue Chew guys out there. But at the same time, it's like, really, what's the point? There's no point. Does this immediately, well, that does kind of immediately stop me, doesn't it? I mean, not as, I don't think it stops me as well as like, oh man, that was not good enough. Try here. <gasps> no touchy! Whoa, okay. Oh, it actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> I thought it was just about to attack me, but I guess not. Alrighty. <laughs> Stupid bird face in the face. You got a piece of hearts. Oh, real? wow. Okay. There we go. 20 heart pieces, just like I initially thought we would end up with. I said a few episodes ago, I thought I would end up with 19 or 19 and a half heart pieces or heart containers by the end of exploring. If we take a look through the maps, all check marks. Yay! We did it, you guys! Alright, now let's go to the coast ship. Diamond Step Island. What time is it? It's morning, pretty much. Well, I mean... Well, let's see if we can get there in time. We have a few seconds. 
We are not going to make it there in time, I don't think. Uh, hold on a second here. Let's take a look at where it's going to go next. Um, looks like Bomb Islands. Where is that again? It's down here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Is it not? Bomb Islands. Okay, that works. Let's go to the first haven and go north. Oh, you birds are about to see me teleport away like a magician. A magic magician. Okay. Uh, well, I was going to say I'll cut it here, but you know what? I guess, I mean, we are just kind of trying to kill time at this point anyways. Oh, boy. I can't believe we're, well, we're at the end of the story of the game, I guess. All we have left to do is go do things. <laughs> That's right. We got to go do things. Um, Bomb Island? Question mark? I don't think that's what what island is that? Are they Bird's Peak Rock? I, I guess so. Question mark. Is that Bomb Island? No, that's gonna be the God Star, right? Probably. Yeah. Okay. I think there's Bomb Island over here, even though it looks tiny. Bomb Island. I don't remember it being that small. I mean, I'll take. I was getting mixed up between Bomb Island and um, Great Fish Islands. Yeah, I totally would have made it to Diamond Steep Island, but I totally would have made it there just as a turning morning. Let's pretend I teleported uh, outside island and I and this is Diamond Step Island here I'm going to. It's going to turn morning just like I hear, isn't it? I'm waiting for the morning sound. Waiting for the morning sounds. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, there we go. See, I would have made it here and just as I was about to go into the ghost ship, I guarantee you it would have turned to morning. That would have been kind of funny, though. I didn't really think there was a point in trying to do it, though. Is it going to be night or is it going to be day? Is it counting this as? Hey, night. There we go. Alright, so now that we have the ghost the ghost ship chart, for some reason that enables me to go... I wonder if these spirits are like the the pirates. I never thought about that before. That's probably what it is, even though they're kind of floating around. So the ghost ship is kind of, unfortunately, exactly like... It's kind of exactly like the... Um... Oh, wow, we can't even escape this. That's cool. I thought it would let me leave. It's, it's just a submarine. An over-glorified submarine. That's cool. I did not realize it wouldn't let me escape. I thought for sure it would let me just go and maybe put me out in the ship. So yeah, once you're in here, you're kind of forced to do things. Uh, I guess we want to want fire arrow. Oh, we already have them. Eh. Oh, wow. I did not expect that. Alright, let's change out the fire arrows. Where are you at, suckers? Whoa, okay. Oh. Oh, I thought, I thought that would kill him. Let's take care of this asshole first. We're gonna appear, man. We're gonna appear. Huh? Huh? Thankfully, he spawned a Stellfos. Uh, there we go. Yeah! Awesome. I'll see the puzzle. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's see if we could. Let's see him get him, drop his thing. His... Oh, there we go. And you. Oh boy! Okay! Oh, okay! Ooh. <laughs> I think I just gotta get swinging enough. I think that's just the way to make him drop it. Land of fire, stealth host! Ah, no! Uh, that's a really small light. Oh, there's a little flower in there! That's kind of cute. Cute! Right. Oh, there's an orb of light there. Uh, I, I still can't tell if those guys are scared, or they almost look like they're, like, you know, cranking their arms. And like Donkey Kong's move in Smash Bros, where he's like he spins his arm, and like he like cranks it up, kind of. <laughs> right, let's see if we can get this guy to split in half. I think this is gonna be the last time we might be seeing it. Stuff like this. No, we're not gonna see it. Oh, I see. Bye. Did we actually kill him? Wow! Didn't see that coming. I tried to come back to life, but he's a fool. He's a fool. He's a stool. He's a poop. He's a poop. I right, could use bombs. I'll take, I could use, wow, I could I use all those supplies up. We're actually well we're not low on supplies, but we're actually we're not picking up as many as we're using here. That's kinda cool. That's adorable. There's a little flower growing in here. It shows that even in the darkest times, there's a sh there could be sometimes a little shimmy shammy of light. <laughs> a little shimmy shammy of light. You see all the spirit ghosts on the floor as well. That's kind of spoopy, I guess. 
I definitely remember being terrified to come to the ship and then being kind of sorely disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember being as impressed as I, th as I thought I would be or scared, I guess. Once it came in here, I was like, oh, that's it? Well, never mind. Oh, there's a face on here. That's kind of creeps. Creepy sleepies. Oh, there we go. Max out my rupees again. This time, I don't really care too much because, I mean, there's not really many left. Or there's not many, like, places of great significance where we would get rupees anymore. Huh. That's a cool little mask on there. All right, let's open the treasure chest and get our last Triforce piece. Our last Tri piece, I was going to say. A last third piece. These are tries to be and all. You got Triforce Shard! At last, you have found the last shard! If you use together, all eight form the Triforce of Courage. And the weird spirit screams at you and you get teleported out. And I don't think you ever see the... Oh, you know what? I don't think you do, actually. See the ghost ship ever again. Look, there's no heart pieces. We did it! Is that it? A little cheesy song. Well done, Link. With the shards you have collected, the Triforce of Courage is now complete at last. We must make for Hyrule quickly. Cool. Cool beans. Cool, cool. Alright, now what? <laughs> uh, oh, never mind. We do. We just, we just need four more heart pieces. I thought we already had one or two. This is the complete sacred golden triangle that has been broken to eight pieces and scattered to the four winds. Is there really only four winds? I, mean, I guess there is. I mean, there's either one winds. Well, there's, you know, millions, infinite, since, you know, you can change as many directions as you want. You can break down directions as much as you want. Wow, that when you look at the treasure just from here, like, look at the mini map now, it totally looks like it's, like, inside the Forsaken Fortress. Alright! I guess with that, we are pretty much done exploring, and we only have to do specific side quests. So, I guess we're going to go to Forest Haven. In the next episode, we are going to deal with the Trace of Plains. And then, yeah, I guess we'll do the train side quest. And we'll do the Blue Chews. And I guess that's really it. So, three more episodes until we go and tackle on the final dungeon of the game, you guys. That's Cray Cray. Cray Cray. Thank you guys so much for watching. But boy Well, there is one. You know what? There is one other thing I could do. You know what? I'm going to do that just because we do have the time here. We gotta waste a bunch of bait. We gotta waste a bunch, a, a bunch of master bait. Uh, right, items. I always get confused when I see the screen. I always think, oh no, it's a different. Oh, come on, go. Oh. Jeez. Sheesh, kaboogers. Sheesh, kaboogers. Okay, so let's waste all our bait here. Uh, uh, we can only use a bit at a time. Are you serious? Can I just throw all three out? That's silly. That's a silly hill. No, leave. <laughs> Just leave. Okay, I might be here for a while, you guys. So, if you don't mind me, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of cra Oh, I bet I could buy bombs. <gasps> I bet I could infinitely buy bombs. Whoa! We are inside Link's body. <laughs> Let's just try buying infinite bombs then. Oh, thank you and stuff. Alright, let's just buy bombs. 60 poopies. Aw, oh, dang it. Bye. Maybe that would be the easiest then. Go outside, use a bomb. I guess we could, I guess we could buy pears as well. That way we don't have to freaking spend forever. Just throw more baits. Alright, I'll see you guys in a few minutes after I've racked up 60 freaking points. Actually, I guess, well. Buy them all you can. Thank you. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Forty points saved up, so I need to buy twenty things. Oh boy. Are you serious? What the heck? Oh, it's floating bait. I was like, what the? I thought that was a cloud. I thought that was a cloud guy. We see occasionally. There's no seagulls here. So I'm gonna go find a dip. No beetle. We'll go find a different chop ship. Dang it. Stupid. I wonder if there's any seagulls in Windfall Island. There should be. There isn't. The balls? Why is Beetle not in Windfall Island? What? Where is he? Huh? Beetle? I'm so confused. Did I break the game?
There he is. I think I just broke the game. That's so weird. Okay. Wait, first I should see if there's seagulls here. There is. That's cool. Okay, I gotta explore Windfall Island from a bird's eye point of view. Cause that's just co too cool to pass up. There's a guy who loves the moon. Oh, this is so cool. Oh man, this place looks really small from a bird's point of view. Oh no! Oh no, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I can't get out! I can't get out! Oh man! <laughs> well, I mean, at least we got a lot of time to explore it. So we gotta use all these freaking pairs. You know what? This place would look even cooler during the day. Let's do that. You know what? Let's actually be smart about this first. Let's go inside Beetle Shop. Sh Let's go inside Beetle Shop. Sh you know, actually, let's just stand on top of it. It won't disappear if I'm on top of it, right? Probably not. What? It disappeared. It's only here during the night. Well, I mean, at least we could still check out what this place looks like during the day from bird's eye point of view. Oh man, this is the coolest. It's so stupidly pointless, but it's cool. It really does make the town look really small, though. <laughs> Like, yeah, there's nothing of significance here. I mean, there is, very clearly. There's really only, like, a few places to go. It's cool, because, like, you're so overwhelmed when you come here for the first time. And when you fly here with a birdie bird, it's like there's really nothing much here. <laughs> Could I go in this window or some crap? That'd be cool. No, of course not. But what? It's like, what the heck would even happen if you could fly in there? <laughs> you get a loading screen, and then you go into a secret room that no one's ever discovered before. That would be pretty cool, though, if I was, like, the first to discover. Hey, look, Zanari, I'm inside your place. Can't do crap all about it. Yeah, let's leave that seagull there. All right, well, I guess I'm going to go back to buying stuff from freaking Beetle forever until I save up 60 freaking points. All right. I just got 59 points. It actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. So by the 60th point, I really just had to find a shop where I could both get a hoi pears, bombs, and seagulls. I, actually, I didn't even need the bombs. Hoi pears and a spot where I can go outside and immediately use it on seagulls. Oh, you saved up 60 points. You've earned a gold membership. To you, our latest gold member, Beetle Shop Ship, offers a fabulous gift. It will be arriving for you soon in a red post box near you. Hope you'll wait it anxiously. On top of that, on top of that most special of gifts, you shall be treated as a VIP in our store. So you give us, you don't give us cheap prices, seriously, dude. I'm gonna buy a hoi pair just in case. I don't know, just in case there's anything left for us to do with it. I don't know. So now we're gonna change it back to day, or we're gonna make try to make it come into a freaking post off. Oh, yeah, like, I, yeah, I guess we'll do that. Let's change it to day, and let's hope that maybe it makes it appear in the post box. That would be cool, cause I really want to see what this does. I want to see if he like, you know. Gives us a discount or something. It's not in the post box. Great. <laughs> Alright, maybe we have to wait a full day. Alright, I'll keep doing this till I see it in the red post box. Unless it just happens to be now. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's go up there. And by the time I can collect this, Beetle's gonna be halfway around the freaking island. It's gonna be a pain in the butthole. It's gonna go. Stop it, man. I just wanna freaking use you. Gross. Alright. Good evening! Let us think we have one letter. Here's your letter. This parcel has been sent on cash and delivery. Postage of 10 rupees will you pay? Why? It's usually right here, man. To all our gold membership holders, thank you very much for your continued patronage at Beetle Shop Ships. It has come to my attention that you have earned 60 shopping points that tells you to gold membership in my stores. All gold memberships holders receive a special gift upon one fill up coupon that uh, fills your stock of items. When you find yourself running low on items, bring this coupon to your nearest Beetle shop ship for an instant fill up. Does not apply to all products. Beetle! You got the fill up coupon. It'll fill every item that you have to the max. Give it to Beetle, but remember, it doesn't cover all of his products. You can deliver your bag for now. Cool. Cool, cool. Alright. So let's make a quick here. here. Change it back to day. We're all going to be teleported right to the beginning of this island again. We can just jump up on a ship. Go see this in action. Right, is he, hopefully I'll be close enough to him. Come on! <laughs> I don't want to miss it. This freaking stupid beetle's angry eyes. Um, 99 bombs. Let's get rid of one of those. I mean, 
I don't have anything else to really show for it. Alright, pull it out and see what this does. Because I actually don't know. I've never even seen someone use this before. Alright. Is he just going to call for my ass again? Would you like to use your fill up coupon? Really? Instant item fill up! Be happy! My freaking mask all the way. Wow, I even recharged my hearts. <laughs> Be happy, that's funny. Um, is there anything else? I guess we could show you guys what it looks like to sell stuff to them. So let's do one of each, I guess. Minus the blue chew jelly. I'm not selling that crap unless he says, Would you like to sell it? Buy red chew jelly you don't need for 10 rupees per glob. Buy t up to 28 of them. You want to sell your red chew? Sure, why not? I'll uh, just sell. Well, you know, I don't need to. Sure, let's sell seven. <laughs> 70 rupees, yeah, I want to sell. Okay, so 70 for that. So much she'll buy these for. Oh, if you don't use skull necklace, I'll pay for 20 rupees each. Holy crap. So 22 times 2 is 4. So four, I could get 400 rupees out. That's crazy. Oh, the don't show it to me. <laughs> what about joy pens? It's like 1 rupee. Just for it to be the ultimate troll item. Oh, 20 rupees. That's not bad. I only have 8 too. That's actually not as many as I thought I would have. Uh, let's take a look at what else we have here. Uh, I'm curious how much you'll buy blue chew jelly. I want to say 50 rupees for some reason. 20 rupees each. Because once again, over 400 rupees. Um, oh, 20, seriously, 20 rupees only? That's kind of sad. You'd think that would be like 30 or something. It almost makes me wonder if he's going to try to lowball me for the blue chew jelly as well. 10 rupees per glob. It's interesting how the text is blue there, even though it's green chew jelly. So yeah, I guess if you're hurting on money, which I don't know why you would be. Like, the only times you really need money in this game is when you're um, buying the map from Tingle, I believe. So, if you're really hurting on money, just go do some of the other Triforce Shards and you'll get all the, a bunch of money from the plots around those. But okay, 15 rupees, seriously. Lame sauce. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe already. So, I hope this episode isn't too long. I've been recording for like, oh, only 36 minutes. That's going to mostly be cut down. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Next one, we'll start, well, we'll finish, start and finish one of the three side quests we have left in this game. Uh, so until, you, until then, see you guys later. Bye-bye.